What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you a quick way to align your camera with your current viewport in Blender. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. So a lot of the time it can be kind of frustrating to get the camera to line up with the view that you currently want. So right now, for example, let's say I wanted to render this view. Well, the problem is if I hit the zero key on the numpad in order to jump into my current camera view, notice how that's actually showing up over here, right? And so a lot of the time what you have to do is you find a view, you like it, but then you forget to set your camera up to it. So you have to hit the zero key, you have to hit in, you have to go into view, and you have to lock your camera to your current view in order to adjust it like this. So totally valid way of doing that, but it is a little bit time consuming. So let's say instead that we had our camera over here. And so if we look at our camera, we can see how it's located over here, right? We've got it set up where it's looking at the back of our castle. Well, I want to use my viewport in order to set up where my camera is. So let's say I wanted to create a rendering like this. Well, all you have to do is you don't have to fly into your camera and move this around to snap it to your viewport. What you can do instead is you can do a control alt zero. So notice how I added a control alt zero. What that did is that snapped my camera to my current location. And then because inside of my view, lock camera to view, I have that selected. What that means is that means that I can fine tune this camera really quickly. So if I hit the zero key again to get out of my camera, notice what that did is that moved my camera from over here to over here. So that is a quick way to align your camera with your current viewport inside of Blender. All right, so I'm gonna to link to a video on this page with a bunch more camera tips for how to work with cameras inside of Blender. The cameras can be a little bit tricky, so that video is gonna walk you through, kind of start to finish exactly how to use that, a bunch of different tips and things that are gonna make you faster, things like that. So if you're interested in learning more, make sure you check that out. Um, if you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. I will link to that on this page as well. But as always, Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.